not much much else to explain about the basic oh no i keep on forgetting stuff i'm sorry okay so here we have our game object thing on the pc i i don't know okay i'm sorry don't ask so you can go to create create empty create other if you create cube and then select cube in your hierarchy oops and hit f zoom in on your cube and here you just have a random cube sitting here you can add physics from like component physics rigid body which would make it act like a real cube and things like that you have to add colliders box collider right here and here let me delete that and you can also if you go over here let's go to boot camp is this no uh meshes characters nitty pilot you just drag them in here basically you just take something from here drag it right into your scene and that's it when we're importing it and we'll have to do that later because this is going to be our character for our, this little tutorial this comes already um, pre-textured I'm not going to be able to give you um, what's it what's it called sorry my throat's really been hurting today modeling here like I have modeler three, lightweight 3d modeler and I have blender somewhere I have cheetah 3d somewhere I have 3ds max but not on this computer and this is where you make game objects you know and then you add them here this was this was modeled you can't make this kind of thing within unity see how it's all textured here yeah uh, we won't be needing to do much of that if there is then I'll pro just provide the project file the dot object dot obj I won't I won't make you model anything because that is really hard and this is gonna be a relatively basic tutorial oh yeah over here we have our inspector panel I can't believe I forgot about this where if you select something in your scene or even something in your project panel like let's select our uh, where's the character soldier locomotion hit F there we go this may look slightly overwhelming but it's just colliders there's really nothing very scary around here um, you don't want to select the actual mesh you want to select the soldier and then here's a whole bunch of scripts added which basically determine what this character is going to be doing what um, oh I want to say project uh, anyway what functions there we go what functions it's going to be calling like right here and we're basically you just attach a script this is probably a bad idea but I'm just going to attach a script here or not <laughs> um, you can add audio, you can add animations, which is why here, when you see your character, you see them walking, that's all animation. This is not done in Unity. You can, don't get me wrong, you can, 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 can animate. But, oh, I'm sorry, there's no audio for this. For the actual computer so you won't be able to hear the environmental sounds and stuff like that but you know essentially all this stuff is done in programs and we're going to be using all these pre-made animations for us so that we don't have to do any of this kind of stuff occasionally we might have to animate something but it won't be anything very serious terrain like this can take quite a while to you know create this was done quite well but there are ways to automatically generate it and get it looking very nice then you can add little things like this like this little stream here if you if you've used unity before then chances are you've already seen all this um, I guess this is goodbye for right now this will be on my website as long as YouTube 
I'll provide a link in the description. I just made this website, so it's pretty crappy, but it's a website nevertheless. So let's tell our soldier goodbye, and I'll see you later.